In Creo Parametric, you can use the extend command to modify a surface in order to increase its boundary. In previous videos, we took a look at the two types that you have along the original surface or up to plane, how to select your references, and how to use the measurements tab for the different distances that you want along the surface. In this video, we're going to take a look at the options tab where you can choose between four different methods and your extension side options. All right, let me get out of edit definition of that feature and I'm gonna rotate the model to create an extend on the other side. Let me select this edge, then I will hold down the shift key to pick this edge. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose the extend command. The extend command is also available from your ribbon. So I will click on it. And if we go to the options tab, you'll see that the choice is same. Same is the default method. And with same, it's going to create a surface of the same type. That could be a plane, a cylinder, a cone, or in this situation, a spline surface. And with the same option, if I grab the drag handle in order to create my surface, there is a distance at which the preview goes away because it is not able to create the surface along the original domain like it had before. And so if I'm happy with this one, I can hit the middle mouse button. And so there you see the new surface that is created. And what you'll notice is that we do not have a patch along the boundary of the original edges. In other words, we have curvature continuity along the new extended surface. With that extend feature still selected, I will use edit definition to bring back my dashboard. Let's go to the options tab. And then from the method dropdown list, I will change to tangent. And with tangent, well, you're going to end up generating a new extended surface that is tangent to the original. And as you can see in this situation, I can get much longer distances than I was capable of getting using the same option. So let me hit the middle mouse button. And in this situation, you can see that we actually have a patch along the original boundary that we chose to extend. Okay, let me get my model tree so that I can use the edit definition command on the extend feature. Let me, oh, let me collapse it again. Okay, so now I will go to the options tab and then from the drop down list, the third choice that we have is the approximate option. And with the approximate option, it's going to end up generating the extended surface as a boundary blend. So there we have approximate. And you might have noticed that this patch here changed a little bit as I toggle between tangent and approximate. So essentially what it does is it figures out the offset distance for the new edges and it creates the side edges and then creates a boundary blend within it. So I will hit the check mark in order to complete that. And just like we had with the tangent option, we're going to end up with a new patch. All right, so now with that still selected, I will use my right mouse button to get to edit definition. And if I go to the options tab, we have a fourth option here in Creo Parametric 11, and it is called extrapolate. This option is not available if you are using Creo Parametric 10 or earlier. And so with the extrapolate option, it's actually going to replace the original surface with a new surface that coincides with the original domain. And it ends up generating a surface that is less wavy and reduces the inflections and folding that you have. So for example, I will choose extrapolate over here. Again, we can play around with the distance that we want to use. Let me move this up and then grab it and drag it down a further distance. And then I can hit the middle mouse button. I want to show another example of the differences that you can get between the same and the extrapolate options. Let me start off by suppressing those last two extend features. Let me select them and then use suppress from the mini toolbar. And I'm going to select just one edge over here. Let me grab this edge in the model. Then I will use the extend command. And let me pan this over and zoom in over on it. And so here we have the same option that we're using. You can see how we're getting curving and inflection 
in the particular surface. Again, that is from using the same option. And let's see if I go a certain distance, if I get around, well, what? Here, the, the preview is going away once I get over about 550 or so. And so we're getting a very, very curved surface in this particular situation. Let me go to the drop down list and change to extrapolate. Here, we're losing some of the preview, but you can see that here we have something that's a little smoother. Preview goes away for a little while, comes back, goes away. And so here we are getting a less wavy result and it is interesting that we can extend certain distances but not other distances because again it is actually replacing the original surface that is being generated and so let me hit the middle mouse button and you can see how that extrapolate option works for that particular edge Okay, let's take a look at the different extension side options. And for that, I'm gonna switch over to a different model because this one will show in pretty dramatic fashion the difference in the result. And so in a previous video, I used the extend command in order to create this surface. Let me edit definition. And if we go to the options tab, you'll notice that we have options for side one and side two extension. And that's for how the geometry is being created. And with these extension side options, I don't want you to confuse that with the distance types for the measurements tab. So the distance types, this is how the distance, how this value is going to be measured, whether it's going to be along the edge or normal to the edge. But from the options tab with the extension sides, this is controlling how the geometry of the side edge is going to be created. And right now it is being created along the original surface boundary on the side. But if we choose normal to, you can see that we ended up with a normal uh, edge to the original surface. And so we're getting a much different result than when we are using the along option. So along is sort of continues this one over here, but with the normal to option, we're actually going to get the extended side surface that is perpendicular to the boundary over here. And so let me hit the check mark. And there you can see the different surface that is generated from that extend. So there you have it. That is how you can use the options tab for your different methods and your extension side options.